We found goodness in goed gedacht olive oil and all the good they do for the community. Pick and pay, always there for you. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express. I'm in the kitchen and today's theme is custard, but this time around, oh, so many flavors. And uh, Georgina, what's happening here? Huh? We are going to be making a recipe today. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm having a little giggle at Georgina because freshlyblog.ca.za, if you've ever been on the site, it's really amazing. But she's not a chef. She's like, the, she's like the digital person. Tell me about what you do. So I'm the digital manager for Pick and Pay. So they thought it would be funny to put me in the kitchen today. Right, right. right. As, um, yeah, we came up with a concept for, for our bloggers, our foodie yeah. bloggers. And we have them in the kitchen every week. We give them ingredients. And this was last week's challenge. So they thought they're going to give me the challenge this week and let's see what I could come up with. So these were the ingredients of the challenge, but you creating your own recipe. What are you going to make with them? We're making um, cabbage parcels with a savory savion sauce. Okay, well, it sounds extremely complicated, especially for a digital person. How are we going to make this? No, they it's very easy. <laughs> they, they have helped me with an easy recipe. Okay. Um, so we have the, the beans, the green beans. We're going to add some rice. Should I keep stirring? Please do. Okay, I'll do all the stirring for you. So Some freshly, feta. there we there go. go. You guys are feta. Freshly blogged you have to go and look at the actual site because you can vote for your favorite recipe and you can see what it's about. You can also see uh, these ingredients from last week's challenge. Yes. And perhaps you can create your own recipe as well. What else are you putting in there? These are the pilchards. Put all of those in. Do I just keep stirring? That's it. Okay. And I'll of course do my best. the garlic. Yeah, we love garlic. Oh, I can smell that. There we go. It's really good. So, yes, yeah, so all the bloggers, they get um, a weekly um, kit of all the ingredients. Yeah. And they need to come up with their own recipe using these ingredients. Okay. And if you go to freshlyblog.co.za, you're able to vote for who you think has the winning recipe. Yeah. And you two could win amazing prizes. Okay. Awesome stuff. Well, what do we do next with our so mixture keep that we are there. stirring on? We have the ego. Here, we're just going to put it on top of a pot of boiling water. Hot water. Yeah. There we go. And what and do we add do with the that? vegetables? Oh, okay, stock. we're adding we vegetable go. stock to it. Keep mixing it. So you keep mixing that. I think we need to turn this one down a bit. There we go. Uh, there we go. And once this is done, what do we do with our leaves? Okay, all we're going to do here is that you take your cabbage leaves. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to add that we're gonna to our cabbage leaves. Leaf. Let's use our plate because then we can we plate it afterwards. So you do that and uh, I'll do some. Now, now we parcels. probably want to see how the end product is created because the end product looks really, really good. Let's take a look at how we made our, our end. Let me just see there. Should so we're we... going to be making little parcels. Okay. Yeah. All so. right. Let's take a look at how we created this. Remove veins from cabbage, then blanch and refresh. Saute beans and garlic, then stir in pilchards. Add rice and feta. Wrap spoonfuls of filling in the cabbage, then place into baking dish with stock. Cover and bake at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Whisk eggs over well, it's time for us to say goodbye. Uh, thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early as we bring in the weekend. We love you, South Africa. Bye-bye. Let's eat. <laughs>